Hi, I'm Taya Simos. And I'm Mike C, Executive Chef of Kitchen on Fire. And welcome to beautiful San Francisco. In each 10 minute webcast, I'm gonna teach both you and Taya how to make fun and delicious meals. Each dish is easy to make, fun, and delicious. And on top of that, I'm gonna teach you tons of tips and tricks to make your life cooking in the kitchen a lot more easy and efficient. And the best part is that this is a webcast, so you can play this on your computer, your laptop, even your iPod, anytime, anywhere. You can even play this right in your kitchen. Exactly, so let's get started. Chef Mike C, I've always wanted to learn how to make a romantic dinner. Not a problem, because in this episode, I'm going to show you how to make a fantastic romantic dinner along with a real easy to do dessert idea. So let's head back into the kitchen for the start of something delicious. What I want to know today is how I can make a romantic meal for someone special. Well, what, what do you suggest I make? Well, I would suggest that, that we show you how to make here this wonderful prosciutto and asparagus shiitake mushroom risotto with truffle essence. Sounds delicious. Yeah, it's delicious. It's real easy to do. And it, all it takes is hanging out in the kitchen, sipping some wine and a bunch of stirring. Do you think you can handle that? I think I can handle that. Okay, good. Well, let's get this started. All right. So I, I've started firing up my chef's pan here. Hey, are you familiar with hard anodized aluminum? By any chance? Not hard anodized. I know that aluminum is one of the best conductors for heat. It is, but the great thing about hard anodized aluminum, it's twice as tough as stainless steel. So now we have a pan that is even heating and super durable. Can't dent it, mess it up, it's just nice. gonna last you a lifetime. And it looks good too. Presentation. Thank you for it's pointing important. that out. It very much. <laughs> so we have the pan all fired up here, and I'm gonna start off with a little bit of butter. We're gonna get that melted. And while that's melting away, All right. let's throw in our shallots. So we got you know, a couple shallots there, minced up. All right. Pop that on in. Awesome. Get in there. And then we have some asparagus. Can you throw I that in? I love asparagus. This looks like thinner yeah. asparagus. Yeah, this is the thinner, the pencil asparagus. If you get this type of asparagus instead of the super thick kind, we don't have to worry about peeling it and snapping it. We get to use pretty much the whole thing. All right, save some time. Yep. And then can you grab the prosciutto? So it's a little prosciutto here that's all diced up. You could always use a little, here, let me yep. help you with that. <laughs> a little bacon, pancetta, like a hamel serrano, something yeah. along those lines. Okay. And we're going to continue to stir and stir and stir. It smells really good. Oh, I know. It's, it's, it's getting amazing in here. And then we have our shiitake mushrooms, which are super earthy and just real great texture to them. The thing that you always gotta make sure is that when you're using the shiitake that you pull out the entire stem. It's too okay. woody, it won't really cook down, but this is great for making stocks, like a vegetable stock or something oh, great. like that. Good idea. Good idea, for utilizing the, the entire piece of food. Yeah, so this is gonna wind up sauteing for, oh, five, six minutes, okay. something along those lines, okay? All right. Awesome. Well, Tay, you're doing such a great job stirring for the last few Thank minutes you. that it's all done. The asparagus is nicely sauteed, everything's got a little bit of brown, a little caramelization going on. Yeah. So, we're gonna take that out here and put it into a bowl because this is all cooked. We don't need to finish it off until the end of the dish. So get all of that out. There you go. Okay, so we're gonna put this back onto the heat. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of olive oil for flavor. Okay. And we're gonna wind up toasting our rice, which we have our, we have our boreal rice here that's already been washed and dried. We wanted to get off the exterior starch on the outside so it doesn't get too clumpy. There's okay. plenty of starch on the inside of the rice to get us that 
nice creamy sauce. So is there. it really important to toast the rice? You can't just like mix it around and start yeah, you just can't just mix it. You can't mix around. <laughs> you can mix it. Well, you have to, you have to mix it around or stir it around to toast it. So why don't you practice your stirring okay. technique again? Your arms might get tired. <laughs> and by toasting it, what's happening is the natural starches in there, or i.e. sugars, are going to caramelize and build that depth of flavor and add extra richness to this dish. It smells really good. I know, doesn't it? Okay. So, you know, you toast it for, oh, two, three minutes and still you start getting some nut aromas like roasting walnuts or chestnuts along those lines and the rice can get just a little bit darker in color. Okay. Okay, and when that happens, we're gonna wind up ladling in. Keep on stirring, oh. girl. I have Keep a little stirring. bit of chicken <laughs> stock here and some white wine. And about a ladle full or two at a time. Oh, doesn't that? Oh, look at that. That's a great sizzle. Okay. Forgot we're gonna, the whole key to this is stirring, so. It's all about the stirring. <laughs> and you're gonna keep on stirring, put a ladle full or two in at a time until it all absorbs into the rice before you add your next ladle full. Okay. But you want to know what the cool thing is again, Kay? You want to see how easy this is? Yes. Okay. So <laughs> after that 45 minutes happens and we get all that liquid into our rice, dun -dun 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 -dun, it's going to look like this. Look at that. So we already have a, the creaminess starting to happen in here. Well, and I like that how this is a greens. real group effort. Like if I were going to make this for someone special, the two of us could be doing this together and talking and. Instead of having one person in the kitchen making the entire meal, this is cool. Oh, you're talking. I like it. So back goes all of our vegetables, those mushrooms, asparagus, prosciutto and such. And I'm yeah. going to keep on stirring this. And Taya, can you put in a little bit of Parmesan Reggiano to finish yes. it off? Awesome. The whole thing? Yep, go for it. And we're going to continue to cook this. It gets real nice and creamy and the cheese melts all in. And start cracking some pepper, girl. All right. I'm going to put a little bit of salt in here. Lots of pepper. Like Lots pepper. of pepper. She's a pepper girl. <laughs> okay. And last but not least, to finish off this dish, to give it the piece de resistance, what's going to make it undeniable to anybody <laughs> who you make this for is one of my favorites, the culinary secret weapon. Give that a whip. This is some black Ooh. truffle oil. Oh, yeah. Can you stir that for me? Yeah. But this, can I only get this at a gourmet supermarket? Or? Um, most supermarkets nowadays will carry this, but you can't find it in the regular Joe grocery store, all specialty stores should have it. This looks delicious, but what I'm worried about is we've used all these pots and pans. The cleanup's going to be a disaster. I mean, how romantic is no, that going to no, be? No, 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 it's not. My infinite circulum is only hard anodized, it's dishwasher safe. So we're just going to take this, throw it in the dishwasher, done. How easy, okay? Brilliant. Yeah. Super, <laughs> super brilliant. Okay, so I know that we had some chocolate earlier. Oh, Whatever yeah. happened to that? We did have chocolate, and guess oh, what right. happened to our chocolate? Where is it? What's in the magical pot right here? Oh. Da, na, 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 na. Oh, it happens to be a little Stop bit it of now. chocolate fondue. We I have love. our fondue forks. Okay, chocolate covered strawberries. Yeah. This is just finishing off a romantic meal, right? Well, <laughs> how much more romantic does it get than this? Seriously. All right, well, if you want to find out about more great romantic recipes like this one, <laughs> go to circulon.com. We'll Bye for now. <laughs> Bye. I'm going to let him stuff his face, and uh, I'll have some of this, too. I'll have some wine. <laughs>